Question number first, construct the following quadrilaterals. Chapter name, practical geometry. And here we are on last part, that is fourth part of exercise 4.3, chapter fourth. In this case, we have to construct a rectangle whose name should be OKAY. We are given two information. So let's check the cyclicity first of all. We have OK. It is continuous. Therefore, this must be the side of this rectangle equals to 7 cm. Then we have KA. Again, it is continuous. Therefore, it must be another side of this rectangle that equals to 5 cm. Since it is a rectangle, it is understood that all the four angles will be equal to 90 degrees. And we are given two distinct sides. That means we are given all the information required to construct a rectangle OKAY. This part is the easiest part of this exercise. So we will straight away construct a rectangular looking shape because we have a good idea about the image of a rectangle. The only thing we have to keep in mind that one of the side is greater than the another side. So we constructed a rectangle because we are well aware about the geometry of a rectangle and we kept in mind one length should be greater than the another length. So this length appears greater therefore we marked it down as 7 cm and we know it is OK as our vertices. So we wrote O and K. If we wrote OK in this manner then A should be here and Y should be here. That means we are going to construct our rectangle in anti-clockwise manner. Also if OK is 7 cm opposite side is YA. Therefore, it must be equal to 7 cm using the properties of rectangle. Opposite sides of rectangle are equal to each other. Now, Ka is 5 cm. So, the same has been written over here. This indirectly means that measurement of line segment YO should be equal to 5 cm. After constructing a rough sketch, we must check whether we have constructed it correct or not. So, how we check it? We simply take every information from the question and match it with our drawn figure. So OK is 7 cm. Indeed, it is 7 cm. That means opposite side will also be equal to 7 cm, which is correct. KA is 5 cm. The same is true in our drawn figure. This means that YO dimension will be equal to 5 cm. And we have jotted down vertices correctly. OK, AY. That is in anti-clockwise manner. With this, we have successfully matched all the information with a rough sketch that means a rough sketch is correct pause it and try to construct it by your own now moving to actual construction of the figure using actual measurements so first of all we consider line segment ok and with the help of ruler and pencil we simply construct a line segment ok with a dimension of seven centimeter using our ruler we mark it as step number one and we wrote its vertices as O and K. Pause it and try to construct it by our own. In step number second, we need to construct these 90 degrees on vertices K and O. And we know very well how to construct 90 degrees using compasses only. Since it is not a complicated construction of the angle, therefore we can avoid protractor and simply construct our two angles of 90 degrees each with the help of compasses only. So we adjust the compasses at a distance of 2 cm because it is proportionate to it. Also, we have discussed why we are taking 2 cm in each construction while using compasses. You may visit previous tutorials for a better understanding under the same exercise of practical geometry. After adjusting our compasses at a distance of 2 cm, we put our needle over K because we are going to construct 90 degrees first of all at vertex K. So put the needle over here and intersect this line segment OK. Wherever it intersect, draw an arc like this and terminate at this point. That is, you need not to construct complete 180 degrees. You can terminate somewhere here. This again comes with practice. Now, we put a needle over here where it intersected with line segment OK and construct 60 degrees. When we say 60 degrees, we mean this angle. That is, if we construct a line segment joining vertex K and this intersected arc to the previously drawn arc, we will get 60 degrees. Then again, we put a needle over here and we construct another 60 degrees. By this, we mean if we join these two points with the help of a ruler, then this complete angle will be equal to 60 plus 60 equals to 120 degrees. 
The whole idea of using compasses is bisection method. Now, if we have 60 this much, we need another 30 degrees in order to construct 90 degrees. So this angle is equal to 60 degrees. If we bisect it, that is dividing it into two equal parts, we will get 30 degrees and 30 degrees. The same has been shown now. We put a needle over here without changing the distance of compasses that was set to 2 cm earlier. We construct this arc. You may elongate it but you know very well that bisection will take place over here. So we draw a small arc. This again comes with practice. Now we put a needle over here and without changing the distance of compasses we try to intersect this arc like this. So wherever it intersects the previous drawn arc from this point, that will be the bisection of this angle, that is this 60 degrees. It means we have bisected the 60 degrees into 30 degrees and 30 degrees. Since we do not know the vertex A yet, we simply connect it with the help of dotted lines. The concept of dotted lines is this, if you are not sure about the measurement, you simply construct it with the help of dotted lines. Doing so, we have successfully created 90 degrees, that is, this is 60 degrees and this rest of the bisection is 30 degrees. So 60 plus 30 degrees give us 90 degrees. Again, pause it and try to construct 90 degrees at vertex K by your own. In the same step, we can construct 90 degrees at vertex O. The same steps need to be implemented at vertex O. That is, we will not readjust a compasses that was set to 2 cm. We will put the needle of our compasses at vertex O and construct this arc such that it intersect line segment O K. Now we put a needle over here and intersect this previously drawn arc wherever it intersect that makes our 60 degrees. That is this angle will be equal to 60 degrees. Then we put a needle over here and again intersect the previously drawn arc wherever it intersect we get 120 degrees that is 60 degrees plus another 60 degrees, 120 degrees. Now we need to bisect this 60 degrees into two parts so that we can get 30 degrees and 30 plus 60 will make 90 degrees. The same concept that we discussed at vertex K. Now in order to bisect the 60 degrees, we put our needle over here and draw this arc with our assumption. Now we put our needle over here and intersect this previously drawn arc here. Wherever it intersect, that is the point which will lead us to 90 degrees at vertex O. Now using ruler, simply using this point and this point, we construct this dotted line that gives us 90 degrees. Again dotted line because this is not the final line segment measurement. This is just the direction of 90 degrees. So this completes our step number second. Pause it and try to construct 90 degrees at vertex O by your own. In step number third, we shall find the actual measurement of this line segment. We know it very well, it is 5 cm on both sides. So we will readjust our compasses at a distance of 5 cm. The idea of using compasses rather than rulers straight away is that compasses gives us exact point whereas using ruler only Sometimes measurement is not taken properly. That's why we use compasses. After adjusting your compasses at a distance of 5 cm, we will put our needle at O because we are considering this dimension right now and intersect this dotted line that we previously drawn with this small R. Wherever it intersects on this dotted line, that point from vertex O will be equal to 5 cm. Now lift your needle and put at K and do the same process that you did at vertex y. Intersect this dotted line wherever it intersect. That means the measurement of vertex k to that intersected point will be equal to 5 cm. Now take your ruler and connect these intersected points with vertex o and vertex k respectively as shown in step number 3. Pause it and try to construct it by your own. In step number 4, it is a matter to connect vertex Y with vertex A using ruler. And if you have performed all the previous steps correctly, then the measurement of this line segment YA should equal to measurement of OK. 
If it is not the case with you, that means you may not have correctly constructed 90 degrees or you may not have correctly measured this 5 cm. Again, pause it and try to construct step number 4 by your own. In the last, we simply jot down all the measurements and put the vertices that is O, K, A, Y similar to the one that we draw in a rough sketch and put all the angles equal to 90 degrees each and dimensions OK is of dimension 7 cm similarly YA is of dimension 7 cm at last measurement of YO and AK as 5 cm with this we have copied the rough sketch with our actual measurement in our final step step number 4 with this we have successfully constructed all the parts of this exercise 4.3 chapter 4th mathematics class 8th practical geometry